anywhere you look around Metro Detroit, you're going to see this dry brown grass in all the subdivisions. And of course, that's because most of us haven't seen rain in weeks. Well, now that dead grass is becoming a fire danger. Steve Garagiola joins us live and Steve, everyone is dealing with this situation and it's so frustrating. Well, we root for the sunshine. We love the sunshine, but enough with the sunshine already. We need some rain. Everybody's lawn looks like this. So a lot of homeowners all across Metro Detroit are giving up. But there are a lot of firefighters who have a rising level of concern. Officially, we are not in a drought, but explain that to my front lawn. In some areas, our rain totals are 25% where they should be. Homeowners like B. Stanley have pretty much given up on their lawns, but she wants to save her garden. I'm always hoping for water and rain, but you guys don't give us none, so. We've had temperatures above 80 degrees 16 times already this month, and we have no serious rain in the forecast. So what can you do about that? I pray, yeah, I pray, but it always seems to go right over on the other side of us, so no rain. This is the one night that we're happy there's no rain with the fireworks over the Detroit River. But this is also the season for amateur fireworks. And in these dry conditions, they provide a different kind of threat. As yeah, so you've got designated drivers for when you go out and have parties and whatnot, maybe to have a designated uh, fire officer for your fireworks to be able to do that in a safe manner without hurting people. Captain Stark says at least don't mix drinking with your fireworks and use common sense. People don't think about common sense with a lot of things, and that's unfortunately what keeps us busy. <laughs> ah, common sense. You know, he says those common sense things are look around where you're going to light fireworks. Don't light them off in an area like this. Uh, look around for other buildings around you and have a fire captain, somebody who's there maybe with a hose ready just in case because this is like a tinderbox ready to go up in this season. So tonight, we're all on board. Clear skies for the fireworks over the river. But after this, Ben, you got to focus, man. You have got to make this happen. We need some rain. 